Hi everyone, this is a short video just showing you how to add uh, encryption to your database for those who don't want to go all the way through the navigation video. Uh, you can see I've got my monthly sales reports database sitting right here. You don't open it through the shortcut there. What you actually need to do if you're going to add encryption is you need to open access first and uh, open your database with exclusive access, which means that nobody else can access it. So from access, you go in here to open other files and then you browse and find your file so I'm just going to browse to my documents folder which is where my um, monthly sales report database is and then within this point after you've selected the database you can see down here the open button actually has a drop down and one of the options there in there is to open exclusive and that means that anyone else or no one else is able to actually access the database at the same time as you're, edit you're editing it which means that you can do things like add encryption which are going to cause problems if anybody else is actually reading the database at the same time or using the database at the same time. So you select your database, you then pull down the drop down in open and choose open exclusive. <coughs> we now have our database opening and you can see here's the navigation that I added in our previous video. Uh, if you get now go to the file uh, menu you can see that under info we've got the option to encrypt with a password so you simply click on encrypt with a password type in the password that you want to use to encrypt your database say ok and you'll see that it tells you that um, row level locking will be ignored that's alright let's just say ok to any error messages that pop up and our database is now encrypted when we close access and save the changes to our database which we just did if we now double click on the monthly sales report database again you'll see that it prompts us to enter the password now we can try a fake password and it will reject it, we'll get an error message and then you can go with the real password and your database will open because we've already added our navigation form it opens up straight into the navigation panel and you can then browse around between the different parts of the database that you are allowing through navigation